Welcome to another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show you how you can take any video and actually get the text out of it or transcript and all YouTube videos, or at least the ones I've noticed, uh, have this option. Many sites such as Khan Academy uh, with the videos also have a transcript option. So let's say you're doing something as detailed as a histogram in Excel, which is what this video is. First of all, if you don't know how to play and pause, that is under insert F5, and that is true for most videos on site. So let me just do that. And I'm just gonna hit P so you can hear it. Okay, you also have mute button, you have every other option there. Uh, once I hit enter on play button, it will play. And then if you wanna pause it, you can actually come back and pause it with insert F5. Uh, however, I want to go to another option so you know where to go to your transcripts. And let's keep going. More actions button, so I'm gonna hit enter on that. Now, what you need to realize with the commands of insert F5 and insert F6 is it only brings you to the item. You must hit spacebar and activate. Uh, if you're sighted, you can actually see the light green highlight down there. So if you want to know how to do this with your mouse, you can just click on it. Okay, so it opens three options. You need to tab to those options. And it says one of three, and I want to go down to open transcript, and I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna hush them up uh, because of course, it immediately starts moving through your transcripts. Now there's your more actions. And let me tell you, uh, if you have your timestamps on and you want to have fluid reading, it's kind of a pain in the backside. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, this for you so you can actually see. And I'm gonna hit space bar. And visually, everybody immediately picks up the timestamps there, zero, zero. Now you may need the timestamps. If you do, keep them. If you don't, then I highly suggest toggling them off so you don't see all of those. Now, if you lose focus of this, you can go ahead and down arrow, and you'll notice the whole page moves because when you hit your toggle, it can actually have you lose uh, the focus of that. This is a heading, so if I insert F6, and it says no headings. It literally has popped me off the page. I'm gonna go ahead and tab in. And I've popped up to my browser tab, so just shift tab twice. Okay, now you can do your insert F6. And you'll notice transcript is heading level two, so if you can hit the number two, but until you actually get focus back into your page, you can't even hit number two. It'll say no more headings found. So never let that panic yourself. Go ahead and just tab or shift tab back into the page and you're good to go, or F6 will also do it. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on transcript and remember, it only brings me there. It doesn't activate anything. So it gives me the ability to move around the transcript. Okay, and I'm gonna down arrow. Okay, zero o'clock, and then of course if I down arrow, I'm gonna hear it. Yeah, I can already tell you I don't want the time stamps. My students don't want the time stamps. If they're young, I go ahead and uh, do all of this for them to make the videos adaptable, especially when it's math, because they need to get all those math formulas in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and up arrow back to my more options, space bar, tab, and space bar. Now, it, all the timestamps immediately move out, but I can guarantee you uh, my cursor has probably lost focus on my page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and insert F6. And notice, no headings found. It literally just automatically pops out of the page. It's just a funny little hiccup. It's no big deal. Shift tab back in. Okay, and as soon as, soon as I hear show more buttons collapsed, then I know I can go ahead and insert F6. And there it is, transcript. I could have hit number two also for a heading. And those of you who are sighted and watching this just know these are talking software commands. You, of course, can just click your mouse and go to where you want to go. Here we go. 
Now, there's different ways to select this. You cannot do a control A. Control A will actually select everything and it's no big deal. You could select everything for ease uh, and then just down arrow to your transcript and then immediately have your transcript. Or you can go ahead and control shift end, which will only select out options within this box. So I'm going to go ahead and control shift end, which will select everything just in this box. So when I copy it, it will paste clean. Okay. So it tells me all the characters that I have uh, selected, and now I'm going to copy and paste them into Word. Now, here is uh, an option that I've already pasted, which is the option that I just did. So I'm going to do a Control N, so you see how easy this is, and paste it. Control Home. I'm going to go ahead and put it into one view, so Alt V and Z, two, so you can easily see it. And then down arrow and listen. Now, what's nice about this is now you can actually get all the text out of how to do a histogram, and it is a very detailed but between the audio version of your YouTube and the text version, uh, it is very explanatory. Now I want to go ahead and show you if you have your timestamps in here, or if you do a control A. Uh, visually you can already see there's probably about a half a page of information that you do not want, but you can also go ahead and just go straight down to transcript and it is there very cleanly. Okay. And I just hit page down one time and then I up arrowed. It's six one, half a dozen the other. It's just down arrow and you'll get down half a page. Uh, so there's the transcript if you just want to hit it really fast. You do have to get it open. If you Once you get it open, even if you have difficulties in the page, you do a control A, you're going to get it all. So that's how you actually get text out of any YouTube video, and you will find that if there is speaking and audio going along with it, there will be a transcript to it. So that is how you get the transcripts to all your videos. I hope you enjoyed that. Go out and try it out yourself.